I have officially reached 100 days surviving in Sons of the Forest, and in that time, here's what I've built. So you'll probably be able to tell the progression of my building throughout this process. But nonetheless, we're starting off with this tree house. And this was actually a prefab tree house initially, and I've actually deconstructed it and actually made it a little bit taller. So this was technically the first build, but it isn't the same thing that it was. And it's worth noting that this is not furnished and some of these other structures aren't furnished either. It's just that this is the 100th day, so I wanted to show you guys where I am at this current point. And it also connected to this other tree house that wasn't anything crazy. I was just basically trying to do like a little treehouse village. It's literally nothing in here. I'm probably going to do a more in-depth one somewhere else where I have more trees to kind of work with. The next up is this structure right here. I actually was able to finish this in a single video and then I just kind of furnished it and made it look cool after. But this is essentially my main cabin. This is where I do all my saves so you can kind of load in and just see a nice little flower. I have this little supply shelf. I also created this mannequin and I built these shelves. I didn't really know what else to put in here. I wanted to furnish it more and so I just put those in there. Stepping out, I have this nice little balcony thing, and you'll kind of notice that what I did is for everything, I did a quarter log height railing. I have a zip line to the area where I was actually getting some logs. And then probably my favorite aspect of this compound, this giant slide. Granted, this isn't actually technically a slide. It's like the flooring or roofing, whatever you really want to call it. But it does allow me to slide a little bit. But being that there aren't actual slides in the game yet, this is kind of what I got. I'm really hoping that they do it because the mechanics for this aren't nearly as smooth as they were in the forest. But nonetheless, I will slide down this thing because our next item is the treehouse over there. We actually landed pretty good that time. Is that Virginia or a cannibal? It's Virginia. Okay, cool, cool. These are my neighbors. Now, my most recent video is on this treehouse specifically, so I'm not going to go super, super in-depth. But this is basically just like the supply shelter. Got some ammo, weapons, and whatnot here. Places to sit here, as well as some plants and birdhouses. Walk through here. And there's like a bug or something as of right now with the targets. I place the targets on each of these things and basically just use that for aiming. And then here we got more food and supplies and stuff. And then some sticks because I'm always needing sticks. Then we can head back because the next thing is actually up here. Now one thing I try to do is not cut down the immediate trees in the vicinity. Because I do like the feeling of being immersed in the trees. And honestly the tree houses make it a lot easier. So I wanted to keep some trees around. And then pretty recently we got these hang gliders and... The really cool thing is they will stay where you leave them. So I actually wanted to build like a little parking structure for them. And with that, I also wanted to build like this little drop off area so you could kind of jump off and like fly around here. I also built this slide and this slide, I'm actually really happy with how it looks, but it is a death slide. I've yet to actually slide down this thing without dying. Uh, let me see if I can get a little bit lower so I can show you guys how I built it because this is kind of starting where more recently everything was frozen over. So I was able to build on the water. So that was something that I wanted to do for a while. And as you can tell, I kind of went nuts with it. This right here works. Okay, I'm gonna need to keep like moving myself, but so essentially what I did is I just connected it like a normal triangle, I guess if you want to call it, and then that log specifically, I cut it down to a quarter, and from there everything stayed connected. That's how I got that really steep drop off, and from there I added the paneling to make it smooth. I was actually very surprised that it still allowed me to do that, and then here specifically, I don't really know why it did this, but it took away like the little support that I was using, so... I will say this slide messes with the pathing of Virginia and Kelvin a lot, but honestly it does kind of give it more of that slide look, so I'm pretty happy with it. Now the next thing I built was this boathouse right here, or floating house, whatever you want to call it. It gives me very heavy Animal Crossing house vibes, but I kind of like it. The thing that I noticed is whenever you're actually building on ice, it will be a certain height, but whenever it actually like unfreezes, it actually gives you a support all the way to the bottom of the water. So I built this house first, and then I added these stairs after everything unfroze. You can actually build little supports, and it's basically just like a diagonal log. Then from there, you just add the stairs, because there's actually no other way to get up here other than a zip line. This one is still yet to be fully furnished, but I did do some lighting just to kind of make it look a little bit better. So I got some skull lamps there, another chair. I'm going to make this like a little dining area, I guess. Made a bed so I can save here if I don't want to go all the way back out. And then this wraparound porch, I haven't really done much to. I don't think I will, in all honesty. But the cool thing is you can just kind of come over here and actually walk. I decided to add this dock to the whole thing just because there was this boat here. And you can actually stand on this thing. So it kind of looks like it's intentional, but it's really not. And then I saw a few videos of like bridges and whatnot in the water. So I kind of wanted to see what I could put together and I built this bridge. And it's probably one of my favorite things I've built so far just because I'm really happy with how the arch came out. And the lights underneath took a ton of effort but they made all the difference because I'll show you guys what this actual compound looks like at night. But you can actually swim underneath here and you can kind of see what I did. Granted they're not 
all like uniform just because it was very difficult to get under here. And while this might look like it took a ton of logs, it actually really didn't because a lot of them are actually just like quarter logs and half logs and whatnot. And then at night, all the different lights underneath actually make this whole thing glow. So it's a pretty cool thing. Granted, it's not in the best spot just because it leads you straight to those coffins. But I'm pretty happy with it just because I don't have to walk all the way across or uphill just to get back to the base. Then over here, this was just kind of like little impulse build. I kind of wanted to fill this area in a little bit more, so I decided to build this. Uh, really nothing crazy about it. Now when everything unfroze, I decided to do like a bigger project and this is probably the most in-depth one just because the sheer amount of logs that this one took. But I'm actually really happy with how it came out. So inside it just kind of has this little open area. I wanted to build like a little balcony type thing. But granted I have no idea what I'm going to do in here. I just kind of saw something in my head and I wanted to go for it. Then I had the idea to cut like a hole there and maybe put like some storage, like some log storage down there. But there's like no way to get back up so... As of right now, I just have a hole there. Oh, and I forgot about this one. No idea why I built this one or what it's for. I just kind of thought it'd be cool to have like a little lookout over the water. Then I did build a zip line to lead to the boathouse. However, there's no actual way to get up here from the boathouse itself. So we'll see what I do. But now that it's about to be dark, I can show you guys what this place looks like at night. I did also set my graphics to ultra, so I'm very glad that it's not like crashing or anything. But here's the bridge. As you can see, the lights underneath it really give it a nice glow. Love looking at this thing. I feel like it frames everything really well. And then you can see just walking here. I don't really know how the lighting works, but it does kind of go through things. So I believe it's just going through the actual flooring. But it definitely looks really cool. And then over here, I have the double tree house. This lit up really, really well. Is that Kelvin? I think someone's stuck. Actually, I think the both of them are stuck. <laughs> Because there's Virginia over here. I really wish they could take the zip lines. I think it would help a ton. Again, still have no lights in that structure. Not really sure what I'm going to do with that one. Nice little glow in here. But you can see everything is just far enough that the lights don't actually show. So and there we go with the lights now. I am noticing that the skull lamps have a lot more distance than the actual wall torches. Because this is all just wall torches. They also give off more of a yellow light as opposed to the orange one. And then here has a nice little glow again because of all the lights underneath. There's actually no lights in here. I have lights for the slide. Actually thinking about it now, it might be cool to have some lights going down the slide. Then I did add some lights down here. But again, I will die if I slide down this thing. You know what? Let's do it. We'll end the video with a death. Alright. Here goes nothing. Okay, that one felt like it landed a little bit differently. I think it's just because I'm falling so steeply that it registers as like fall damage. But like I'll land in the water and it's usually right when I make contact with the ground that I die. Let's see. Yep. Alright, well that's going to do it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.